Hello and welcome to my morning note. Let's talk about Spain. Even with the latest developments around Italy, Spain still appears to be the pivot of the Eurozone crisis. It still appears that it's in Spain that the future of the Euro will be decided. And last week we did have a number of very important developments. First of all, we had a new austerity package announced by Prime Minister Rajoy, tax, tax rises combined with spending cuts. We also now appear to have a fairly clear plan for how the Eurozone will help bail out the uh, Spanish banks. Uh, and perhaps more worryingly, we also have clear sign of popular dissent. There were very ugly demonstrations in Madrid by miners last week. Plainly, there is a question whether uh, austerity measures can survive uh, public scrutiny. So can Spain remain competitive, to, competitive? And does it have a future within the Eurozone? With me now to discuss this is uh, the economist from the ESA Business School in Barcelona, Xavier Vives. Xavier, thank you very much for being here thank today. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Um, how, uh, how competitive is Spain and would it benefit from a devaluation or from an exit from the Euro? Uh, Spain has a sector of firms which are very competitive export uh, oriented and outward looking and driving uh, for excellence this is a sector right it's not the whole economy and so spain still would benefit from a devaluation because this export sector has to grow to make uh, the spanish economy grow okay let's take a look it's a chart you've provided with us this is spain's share of uh, of the global merchandise exports market since uh, since just about entering the euro basically yes. Uh, obviously, everybody is down because we've had the phenomenal effect of China. Exactly. But but Spain has barely performed any worse in export markets than, than Germany. What, exactly. what lies behind that? Yeah, I think what basically lies behind this is that there is uh, this segment of large and medium-large uh, firms which are extremely competitive, very productive and efficient, as good as any in the world, I would say. And, and, and this shows here uh, along with uh, German firms. And those firms, in fact, have been able to compete in an environment in which the whole economy has lost competitiveness dramatically with respect to Germany, in fact, and with respect to the average uh, Eurozone. So uh, there is double value uh, added here. Okay, so it really does look as though Spain is in crisis specifically because of its property bubble rather than due to any underlying serious weakness in its uh, economy. Uh, uh, I, I would say that this is, uh, that this is correct. Okay, now let's take a look at this same exercise done for services, and this is uh, this is even more impressive. Spain has actually grown its share of uh, services exactly, exports. Exactly, exactly, grown and at outpaced even uh, even Germany. And so here we have financial services, we have services associated to construction, to mm. engineering, to infrastructure, and again uh, those companies uh, have proved uh, to be very good at competing in the, in the international markets, and they are a good sign. So. Uh, can Spain uh, do a lot with this? Well, it should do more, and this sector should grow more. And, and this is where the future of Spain lies. So why is there even a problem, given that we do appear to have a very uh, very uh, competitive export sector? Well, what, what, what are the things that Spain needs to change or to reform? Well, it uh, obviously uh, is in crisis. Uh, I think uh, Spain should uh, basically uh, have a, a, a very ambitious, uh, should push for an, a very ambitious uh, reform package, like Sweden did in the 90s. Mm. So this means introducing competition in the service market, reform completely labor market, public administration. Sweden, uh, Sweden did away with uh, civil servants, except for judges. Uh, it produced um, agencies, public agencies, with well-defined objectives that then uh, could, uh, could perform, increase productivity in, in the public sector. Uh, develop uh, R&D uh, much right. more uh, and innovation. So Spain needs this package basically to be more productive overall and the parts of the economy which are not so productive and in which uh, productivity in fact has lacked the euro area and, and the US could pick up and become uh, like the international benchmark that these companies, that these international companies represent. Okay, Xavier, thank you very much indeed. There is a fascinating debate about Europe, but it looks as though the one we should all be looking is the fascinating debate that Xavier has just described going on inside Spain.